Aura everyone and welcome to season 2 of Haunted by History. Today we will be exploring the mysteries of the grand old suburb of St. Albans at Emily Park. This is why I'm standing here on the corner of St. Albans Street and Emily Crescent. Um, <laughs> this is why I'm standing here on the corner of Emily Crescent and St. Albans Street. Uh, St. Albert Street and Emily Crescent. I am standing at the corner. Look, this is not working. Emily, oh Emily, beautiful and proud in the heart of our oldest and largest suburb of Oto Otahi Christchurch. Yes, that's right. That's our very own St. Albert's. The two have grown up together and share many mysteries. Oh yes, mysteries. Well, we have heard that they are both haunted by history. And this is why we need help. And who is going to aid us? That's right, our very own psychic investigator and local history buff, Mr. William Langford of Langfords and his trusty silver spoon. Mr. Langford! Mr. Langford! Mr. Le oh, there he is, Mr. Langford. There oh, you okay. are. William, please. Um. Uh, Natalia. Oh, yeah, yeah, yes. Natalia, I, I knew that. You Natalia, forgot yes, my that. name. No, 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 no. I um, You had a question for me. Oh, yes, yes. So, where did it all start? Your name? St. Albans. Oh, yes. <laughs> you ask such impressive questions. Mm. And mm. insightful. Mm. Insightful and... Um, Mm -hmm. Well, it all started with the Romans, back in the 3rd or 4th century AD. St. Albans? Yes. It was built by the Romans? What? No, 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 no. St. Alban uh -huh. was the first English martyr. Uh -huh. He converted to Christianity, mm -hmm. and the Romans didn't really like that, so mm -hmm. they... Um... Oh. Anyway, the suburb of St. Albans, uh -huh. that all started with St. Albans Creek. This one. This one? Yes. Are you saying that this creek is haunted by a saint killed by the Romans? Not intentionally, ah. no. But there is plenty of haunting going on. Ah. Allow me and my reliable device mm -hmm. to show you through the archways of time archways. and reveal to you uh, the past. The past. Uh, so, um, oh, do you mean that we should follow you and your silver spoon through through these trees? Uh, that's what I said, yes, the, the archways of time. Ah, oh, oh, right, a metaphor, yeah. You see, originally, St. Albans was a maze of, of, of springs and marshy waterlands. Yes, now forget all this dry land. Mm -hmm. Imagine instead bubbling pools and toy toy three or more meters high, oh. dense walls of, of head-high oh. flax, uh, trickling streams and, and stagnant sinister black bogs. Oh, water, water everywhere. <laughs> and some of it you could drink, yes. <laughs> the, the local Waitaha people mm -hmm. called this the wetlands where Waitaha make fish spears from flax stalks. Oh, so if this area was so wet, how could the Waitaha live here? Ah, well, it seems for the most part they didn't. Oh. There were camps on the drier, more drained areas, you know, old sand dunes, that mm. sort of thing. Mm. Um, but they were mostly staging points for travellers. Mm. And then seasonally, uh, family groups would come and gather kai from the water oh. and fibre from the flax. But there weren't many dry spots. Mm. In fact, the area is still known for its flooding. Oh, oh, huh? there's a bog. Bog? There are lights in the water. Oh. oh no. Yes. What are you doing? What? The pony. What? Where's your driver? What? Oh no. Don't go there. William. Oh, no. William, oh, wake up. It's in the bog. It's in the William, bog. Oh, wake God, the horror. up. The horror. Wake up. <laughs> oh. I'm sorry. I'm, I must have tuned into a streaming platform. Mm. That, one that shows horror movies. Mm -hmm. Or maybe not. Oh. You see, this area had a bad reputation with the first European settlers back in the 1850s. Mm -hmm. There was a story of a horse and pony that got sucked into the mud, never to be seen again. Oh no! Was it true? Well, we don't know. Uh, but it does show how the Europeans viewed this area. Oh. It was an untamed wilderness. Dangerous. 
and even quite scary. Yes, that poor pony. Well, it, it may not have happened. Then why did you tell us? Uh, well, uh, there were some settlers who were determined to succeed. They trampled down the flax <gasps> and they smothered it with, with sand mm -hmm. and made the first streets. Chapter, canon, purchase, bishop. The, the, the streets remember their names. Mm -hmm. And the other streets, they named after familiar places from home. Mm -hmm. So you, you can't underestimate the power of homesickness. Mm. Oh. Oh. oh, 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 yes, yes, oh, yes, we must move on. Oh. We're being summoned by the spirit of spirit. George Dickinson. Oh. Oh. oh, oh, and who's this? <gasps> yes, oh. yes, such beauty. Yes, oh, such, such talent. Oh, uh, oh graceful moves. Oh, and, oh. oh. such a sweet uh, voice. William, oh. William. Yeah. Oh. Oh. What happened? Well, you heard some singing and you saw some dancing. Was it a Netflix musical? I think your spoon is faulty because it keeps tuning into the wrong waves. My spoon is never wrong. Oh. It is a reliable scientific device for the investigation of psychical phenomenon. Yes, mm. and it did that. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm. I saw a beautiful lady oh. and I know who she was. She was a famous actress and banker of the Regency era. And? and? She married the ninth Duke of St. Albans. St. Albans is named after her. Ah! So, so did she build the first road? Did she run away from the Duke to New Zealand with a stable boy incognito? Uh, no. No. Uh, in fact, she never came to New Zealand. Oh, so she's like the Robins? Yes. And the Saint? Yes. She never came. No, oh. no, uh, unless mm -hmm. she came in the mind of her cousin, George Dickinson. Y yes. He arrived in 1851 mm -hmm. with his head full of wonderful stories about his cousin, the actress who became a duchess. <gasps> mm -hmm. So naturally, he named his farm after her <gasps> and, and the creek. Huh? And he suggested the name for the new settlement, which <laughs> later became the suburb of Otaltahi Christchurch, known as... St. Albans. Oh, uh, the funny thing is, yes? her maiden name was Harriet Mellon. Oh, is, <gasps> is that funny? No, 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 wait. Yes. No. She was born out of wedlock. Oh, is that funny? No, 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 just, just, just listen. No, mm -hmm. no, no, no. Her mother was Irish mm -hmm. and a seamstress in a West End theatre, mm -hmm. which is how Harriet becomes such a great actress. Ah, so that's funny. No, 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 just, just, just wait. No. <laughs> the uncanny thing is... Yes? Then nearly 200 years earlier, uh -huh. in 1684, yes. Charles II created mm -hmm. the Duchy of St. Albans for his illegitimate son. Oh. Uh, his mother yes. was Nell Gwynne, the yes. famous actress. Oh. <gasps> wow, that's uncanny! Yes! But not funny, no. No. Back to St. Albans, yeah. uh, was it not always a part of Christchurch? Oh, no, 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 no. No, it was its own borough until uh, oh. 1903. Uh -huh. oh. <laughs> it joined Christchurch City yes. on the 1st of April. <laughs> <laughs> April Fool's Day! <laughs> and uh, I'm sure some of the residents wished that it was an April Fool's, uh, oh. Fool's Day joke mm -hmm. because they had to change how they lived. Oh. Mm -hmm. There was no more barbed wire fences. Mm. Oh, no, 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 no. And they couldn't graze their, their stock in the roadways. Mm. Oh, no, 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 no. And they couldn't burn their gorse on the streets. Oh. <laughs> Do you imagine doing that now? <laughs> Such a change. Yes. Oh. 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 oh, we've tarried here too long. Yes. Yes, we must go back to 1863 yes. now. Can you see any ghosts? Actresses, maybe? Y yes. Yes? Well, no. Oh. No. Uh, oh. Well, perhaps ghosts of old rose bushes. Oh. <laughs> and if so, then they probably date back to 1863. Mm -hmm. That's when Thomas James Melling first laid out his gardens here, you see. Mm -hmm. His homestead mm -hmm. is where today's uh, community hall stands. Ah. And the current park 
mm -hmm. still follows much of his garden design. Right. So is Abelie also named after some actress relative, maybe? Uh, no, 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 no. Nothing so remarkable. No, no. Mm -hmm. After his hometown in England, oh. Abelie, which mm -hmm. was uh, a small town by the Severn River, mm -hmm. surrounded by the Malvern Hills. Oh, but those are the names of other St. Albans streets. Ah, uh, you noticed. Yes. <laughs> How very clever. <laughs> It's often said that exploring the back streets of St Albans is like walking a road map of Britain. Oh. <laughs> Those settlers must have been very homesick. Mm. Oh. 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 Yes. I'm giving a name. Yes. Oh. 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 Uh, uh, oh. Alice. Alice is calling us. Yes. Alice in Wonderland. No, Alice of Abilene. Oh. We must visit her residence immediately. Okay. Come on. Yes. Oh. that Abbey House is a huge haunted mansion with many rooms and even a horse paddock. Well, it used to be. Uh -huh. It used to be a ten-room homestead uh -huh. with stables and uh -huh. a fowl house and garden sheds yes. and a tennis court and a horse paddock and a rose garden and vegetable garden and uh -huh. Uh -huh, an extensive caged cherry orchard. Cherry uh -huh. orchard? But no Uncle Vanya? Sally? No. No. Ah, but it did have, <laughs> wait for it, Yes. a games and ballroom! <laughs> but it's, it's all gone now, isn't it? No, 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 it's, no, 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 we're standing in the ballroom right now. The ballroom? <laughs> William, um, <laughs> wi wi William, <laughs> Mr. Langford, the ballroom, you were saying? Sorry, <laughs> <laughs> pardon me. I, once again, I, I sensed the presence of Alice Hobbs Kirk. <sighs> you see, she was the one yes. who originally insisted uh -huh. on this uh, extension being added to the original homestead oh. back at the turn of last century. Right! Hmm. So the rumours are true and Abelie is haunted ah. by, by, by this Alice person you, you mentioned? No. No? No, no it's not actually. Uh, oh, oh, but you could perhaps imagine her guests yes. waltzing and chastening around the room. <laughs> Unless yes. you can sense her presence whenever the hall is used for, for a celebration or, oh. or a dance party yes. or, or for, for, for Pilates. <laughs> Maybe she's a Pilates poltergeist. <laughs> she throws a little mat um. <laughs> or, or tosses in a towel. <laughs> Right, back to plot. What about the gardens? You mentioned that the Rose Garden dates back to 1863. Oh, well, so does most of the garden. Uh -huh. You see, when Abbey was turned into a park in 1939, mm -hmm. they had actually decided to retain most of the original garden layout, uh -huh. including some of the plants. Mm -hmm. So, some of these trees actually date back to 1863 oh. and are truly ghosts from the past. <laughs> right. So, uh, what about another secret of Abelie? We have heard about a very special small garden. Oh, I thought for a moment there that you were going to ask me about the butterfly tree. The butterfly <laughs> tree? Yes, the butterfly tree. You see, for a, a bit over a decade now, Monarch butterflies have been gathering one of the old trees here in Abbey Park oh. to overwinter. Oh. Uh, but since it isn't haunted mm. and it isn't winter, mm. I'm not going to show you. <laughs> <laughs> so um, let's go into the secret garden. Let's. Follow me. Yes. Hmm. This is one of the most beautiful secrets of Abbey Park. A scented garden for the sight impaired. Oh, is it back from 1863? Uh, no, no, no. But it was opened exactly one century after the original gardens were laid out. Oh. You see, back in the 1950s, Abbey was close to Fernwood, which was the hostel for the Institute of the Blind. Uh -huh. So Huya Gilpin, who was the then director of the Botanic Gardens, she decided, uh, came up with the brilliant idea of creating a scented garden for them. So. 
the Everly Park Scented Garden was opened in 1964 and was the forerunner of similar scented gardens in Wellington and Auckland. So Christchurch showed the way. Exactly. <laughs> what a fascinating story. We are very pleased to confirm that St Albans, with Eberly Park in its heart, is very definitely haunted by all sorts of spirits from the past. Uh, actresses, duchesses, an English saint, old trees, 1920s dance parties, secret gardens, and yet, with its roots deep and strong, St Albans remains forever young.